and this, in this section we will see button toggle we have already seen that how this button uh, can be uh, created and how the color different color we can apply and how different types of buttons like the square button a rectangle button and then this uh, rounded button the small with icon how we can create so in the last video we have covered in case you have not seen that section then let's please check that and now we will work on this button toggle button toggle is as you can see when you click this button become highlighted when you click this button become highlighted so that's why it is called button toggle to use button toggle first we need to click on this api and we need to import this in our uh, app module the ts file so just go here and import this one and include here as well once this is done then uh, we can uh, let's do one thing let's uh, delete this okay just we will uh, put here as well so now let's go to this OVV section and if you go here then this is the button toggle code so how it works if you check here you can compare it here as well so the main thing is button mat button right and here the syntax is mat button toggle group so this is the main button this is the complete group so what does it mean Mm, let me put here divider okay so this is complete button group this is complete button group right this and then inside this there are three buttons first one second third so what we have in this the first one mat button toggle group mat button toggle group then name whatever name you want to uh, write here and then uh, th this is uh, the phone style okay and then mat button toggle not group like this so value whatever value you're putting here bold bold and uh, value italic later we will see when we click then this value can be passed okay underline so whatever name you want for example here i want to about okay, services services and then contact contact so we can write here contact services and then about now we check here okay so this is the output about service contract so this kind of button we can create here with toggle effect now let's go here and check few more example so this is the first one and this is legacy appearance so here is name appearance in appearance section you can provide here legacy okay so in legacy there is no as you can see it is a bit dim and also uh, there is like you know underline type like uh, shadow in the bottom in the legacy the only difference is just you need to provide here legacy here toggle group then legacy rest of the things are same now let's take another example let's write here mat button toggle group and then here we here we will provide uh, an alias like you know uh, my 
b group whatever it has b group so why we are giving this this one is for that so that we can uh, exit its value outside of this uh, button and here mat button toggle group and now let's close this group oh there is no there will be no space actually so that's why so this is mat button toggle group toggle mat button toggle group okay now let's create here buttons so it will be mat button toggle right inside this and here will be first thing will be value then say left and then area level text align left so again and here inside this we will put icon right we need to write here mat icon and inside this we will write the icon this. so icon name will be format align left just copy this so this is for center this is for right and uh, this will be align center and this will be align right and also here it will be right and there will be right there will be center center and this will be left this already left there so value will be center and right left center right okay now let's check into the browser okay so we're getting this error it says that math button or uh, toggle directive couldn't be found now we need to specify here outside of this okay so there is spelling mistake actually it will be small m okay math button toggle yes right and now here we will fetch its value so div just we will put simple here and then uh what is our group name it's b group right so you can see here the group value the selected group value let's check so this is when we click you can see the value is changing here when you click the value is changing here left right and center so how it's possible let's go here <coughs> and just come here yes so this is the value this one when we click and this is the icon name icon name is icon name icon name and when we click then its value changes and the value which we are displaying here is simply a value dot this group name and dot value so this way you can fetch the value here as well and in this section we will see how to button toggle with forms so this is template drive on form in angular you know template drive on form so if you want to use this in temp inside template drive on form then how it's possible first you need to do this map button toggle group the same and then ng model on style whatever um, the name you want to provide here so ng model for the area this one rest of the things are the same so and the value you will show we will see the show here now inside app component.htps file we need to specify here form group since we have used here uh, 
this ng model and phone group so we need to call here phone style of control the so phone control we need to call and the top so it's been called here and then finally this phone style which one this phone style here you will write phone style then string and value so simply phone style here string oh, not here actually so it will be like this phone style string that means initial value uh, if there is no initial value then there will be no error that's why we are uh, providing here question mark that means the value will be dynamic based on the con based on the click of the uh, user and it says that there is an error then there it says not assignable to string and uh, it says okay this for ng model we need to call here forms module here so have you called that forms module no we have not called right so import let's import in the top somewhere if you want to use this ng model directive this one this one then you need to import here forms module so import forms module from forms and then just import it here as well right now if you check then the error is gone okay now let's go to here and uh, refresh the button and then it didn't come anything have we saved it anyway at all template driver form this one also is saved now and here as well so just let's <coughs> take this divider as well and then oh it's loading it's compiling to you hmm. yes so now if we click then the value changes so this one is example of template driver forms so when you are using angular template driver form in that case you can fetch the value based on this like this okay <clears throat> with the help of ng model so this value is displayed here first this value it goes to here and then it is fetched here and what what about if there is uh, reactive forms so let me show you with the example of reactive forms also so this one is uh, example of reactive form which one this the below one this so let's go here and form control form style this one. so here you can see everything is same Mat button toggle group and the main difference is form control and then form style control. And now, when you place this mouse, there is error. When you place this mouse, it says that can't bind to form control since it is not property of mat button toggle group. So, what we need to do here is we need to call reactive forms here. Okay. Import, import reactive forms module from here. And then we need to import here as well then reactive forms form group will work now the error is gone right so let's do one thing once again let's take here the divider and now let's go here refresh and you can see the value is changing this as well so how it's possible with these forms uh, this phone style by control dot value we have already specified this with form control okay so with this uh, uh, form control directive 
the value can pass to here to ts file and whatever value will be changing once again we are displaying here from internal value with this reactive form so as you can see with this reactive form we can send this kind of data and receive from the ts file and yes so far we have seen that you know we are selecting single value whatever value we are selecting this is displaying below but if you want to make the button to select more than one in that case we can write the code like this multiple selection so in multiple selection everything is same you know math button toggle group and then you provide some name here ingredients say example area level and one thing which is special here is multiple okay if you provide this multiple in that case you can select more than one at a time so let's see if you um, go here then you can see two or three is highlighted all together okay so this way you can select more than one also and if you want to use this with a reactive form multiple selection just copy this one form control and then let's show here the value below as well so now refresh it and check yes you can see there is multiple value selection here comma comma separated okay so this way you can use the multiple value selection with the reactive form as well so guys that's it in this form group and uh, in the next video we will work on uh, first form field okay after this we will work on form field so uh, that's it stay connected and let's uh, meet in the next section